Welcome to this next video in this series of videos on mechanical ventilation. I believe this is video number seven. Um, in this video we're going to look at calculating inspiratory times, expiratory times, total cycle times, and IE ratios in volume control. Now we've talked about um, IE ratios before and we've done some stuff with them in a previous video but in those videos I gave you the inspiratory times so it made it quite straightforward so in this one we're gonna, I'm going to show you how in volume control we we calculate those type of things so it's just to remind ourselves we are in assist control volume control and the four things we're going to calculate are one we're going to calculate our total cycle time that should be pretty familiar to you we've done those already and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to calculate our inspiratory time that's going to be relatively new. Uh, then we're going to calculate our expiratory time. And then we're going to use those numbers to give ourselves our IE ratio, which when you're ventilating a patient becomes quite important, especially when you start tackling different types of diseases and, and want to start manipulating that IE ratio to, to um, make the vent ventilation more appropriate to your patient. So let's jump into these. First one we're going to do is we're going to calculate our total cycle time. So maybe we'll do that one here in blue. Okay, so total cycle time. Now we did this in the previous videos, and, and what did we say about total cycle time? We basically said it's based on your respiratory rate here, right? So we have a respiratory rate of 20, and it's telling us what is the total time for each breath. So that includes inspiration and expiration, and it's how long does each of our breaths have over the minute. So we have 60 seconds in a minute. Okay, so 60 seconds per minute. Okay, and we have a respiratory rate of 20. So we're going to divide our 60 seconds a minute by our respiratory rate of 20 B for breaths, breaths per minute. Okay, so then our minutes will cancel and we will get our total cycle time of three seconds right well the unit would be three seconds per breath right and that's per breath cycle so inspiration and expiration so we figured out our we figured out our um, total cycle time so total cycle time is purely dependent on the respiratory rate it simply says how much time does each of our breath cycles inspiration and expiration have before the next one comes in so if you have 60 seconds a minute, 20 breaths a minute, divide that into each other, three seconds per breath. Okay, so pretty straightforward so far. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna calculate our inspiratory time. So we use a different color here. So in the previous videos, I gave you the inspiratory time. I said, okay, our inspiratory time is one second. And it turns out in pressure control, you, you set that, you can, you can choose your inspiratory time by just dialing it in in seconds um, which is quite nice whereas in volume control you can't do that um, and we're gonna get into why in a second so in volume control what do we have here to to figure out our inspiratory time um, what a good thing to do when you're watching this video I mean we've already done the first part but we've covered total cycle time before um, maybe at the end of uh, as we get to each question pause the tape and try and figure this out for yourself. Try and figure out how we're gonna calculate our inspiratory time, how we get our ex expiratory time, and then how we get our IE ratio. And see if you can work it through and get the answer, and then press play and see if you get it right. We also have the answer for our IE ratio up here at the top, but I've blanked it out for the moment. Okay, so if you're back after pausing, then we're gonna go through the answer to uh, inspiratory time. So we have a tidal volume here. We know that inspiration ends when the tidal volume has been put into the patient, right? Once we've delivered 500 cc's or 500 mils of tidal volume, inspiration ends. We talked about that in the last video, how volume control is volume cycled. Once this volume has been delivered, we that's the end of inspiration. Okay, so we've got 500 mils to put in. So let's write that down. Our tidal volume is equal to 500 mils. And this flow, this is, a, this is a speed, right? This is a flow rate. It means 60 liters per minute. That is the speed at which we are gonna put the gas into the patient with the ventilator. 
okay and this square is extremely important for this video because we wouldn't be able to do this calculation without this square this tells us that the flow is constant right this flow rate is constant it goes up to 60 you can see it here on the waveform it goes to 60 stays at 60 stays at 60 and then the inspiration ends so this is constant flow so maybe I'll write that there constant flow okay so if we have a volume that we want to put in and then and then we have a flow rate in a volume per time then surely we can figure out our time there right so if we the formula for it is this let's just write it out so we have our tidal volume in liters and we have we have a flow rate divided by our flow rate in liters per second our unit should cancel there now, cancel, cancel, should give us uh, inspiratory time in seconds, okay? Because that's all that's left is time, right? Once we've canceled these things out, 500 mils at a certain flow rate, we can figure out the time. So let's plug in our numbers, but we'll start to see a problem here almost immediately. Firstly, we have 500 mils. So the first thing we have to do is we have to, um, we have to convert our tidal volume into liters so that's pretty straightforward 500 mils is just half a liter right 0 0.5 liters so we've got our tidal volume now how about our flow rate well our flow rate right now is 60 liters a minute okay so 60 liters per minute what is that and then we divide that by 60 seconds per minute right our minutes will cancel and that will give us a flow rate of one, and that's liters per second, okay? So now we have a flow rate in liters per second, one liter per second. So it's gonna take half a second if we divide this out, right? Liters will cancel, and we'll have 0 0.5 seconds. That's gonna be our inspiratory time, right? At at this flow rate with this volume it'll take half a second at 60 liters a minute to put 500 mils into the patient and then inspiration ends right so then that's insp that's our inspiratory time okay so we have our let's just make sure these are all quite clear so we have our total cycle time here we have our inspiratory time so now let's calculate our expiratory time i feel like i'm going to run out of space here okay so i'll do this small so if you think about it we talked about our total cycle time right and we said that that is the time it takes for both inspiration and expiration so we know that our total cycle time is going to be in equal to the time for inspiration inspiratory time plus our time for expiration our expiratory time and we know two of those so we can calculate for the third so we know that our to our expiratory time is going to be equal to our total cycle time minus our inspiratory time which equals three seconds minus 0 0.5 seconds okay so our expiratory time is 2.5 seconds okay so now we have our inspiratory time and our expiratory time and our total cycle time so the last thing that's left is calculating our IDE ratio okay so our IDE ratio is simply the ratio of inspiration to expiration. So um, I guess we'll write a little formula out for it just to make it keep it consistent. So our I to E, we calculate by, I guess we can put equals, I guess it's not really equal, um, is our inspiratory time as a ratio of our expiratory time. Okay, and we have both of those, so let's do it. So 0 0.5 seconds, and our expiratory time is 2.5 seconds. So then if we calculate what, how many times does our inspiratory time go into our expiratory time, you, you will get one part inspiration to five parts expiration, okay? So our IE ratio is one to five, okay? So then we'll go back and we'll, um, oh, I, I realize I've done this on the wrong layer here, but if I, pull this all down one second here if I pull this all down you'll see on the ventilator screen up here
that our IDE ratio is 1 to 5. And this is how we've calculated it. We calculated, we know our total cycle time. That's not going to change. The only thing that depends on is our respiratory rate. We calculated our inspiratory time by knowing our tidal volume and the speed at which we put in our tidal volume. Okay, and the fact that it's constant flow. With our tidal, with our inspiratory time, we can figure out our expiratory time because we have the time for the whole breath and the time for inspiration. So the time for expiration is just the difference between the two. And then we put these into a ratio, inspiratory time to expiratory time, to get our IE ratio of one to five. In the next video, we're gonna do another example of this, but we're gonna change some things and make it a little bit more challenging.